Hey guys, Doug B here. Today we're gonna to do something different. We are gonna look at using the Axe FX3 with my keyboard rig. I used to be a keyboard player back in the day and I still have a really nice collection of keyboards. I don't have room to have them all set up though in my current studio space, but I still have my Nord Stage 3, my Ultra Nova, and my Studio Logic 88 Grand set up. Now the Nord has a lot of built-in sounds, including fantastic acoustic pianos, electric pianos, Hammond organs, Honer clavinets, all sorts of synths and other keyboards and stuff. Lots of great stuff built in. It also has a decent amp section and a pretty good effect section. But for this test, we're gonna assume that it has no effects. Or just like, so if you're hooking it up, your keyboards have no effects. Or maybe you'd just rather use the effects on the Axe FX3 with your keyboard rig. So I put together a keyboard preset using in two and out two. If I was playing a gig, I'd have my guitar running through in one and out one. That way I wouldn't have to plug and unplug stuff or use a small mixer when I switch up from guitar to keys. Each set of gear has its own path to use. Now I've also added the following blocks. Looper, wah, chorus, phaser, drive, rotary, pan trim, parametric EQ, delay, reverb one, and reverb two. I use the looper to record an unprocessed passage from the Nord, and then I play back the loop to dial in the effects. Now let's check out the scenes. I already went ahead and got them all set up and I'll give a brief overview of each one, but if you'd like to see how each one was put together, let me know and I'll do a video on that. Now scene one, is for pure Nord Stage 3, no processing at all. All the blocks are bypassed except for the looper. Scene 2 is for acoustic piano. I only use the reverb 1 block. Scene 3 is for the Wurlitzer electric piano. I use the pan trim, the parametric EQ, and the reverb 1 block. Scene 4 is for the Rhodes electric piano. I use the chorus, pan trim, parametric EQ, delay, and reverb 1 block. Scene five is for the clav auto wah. I use a wah block, parametric EQ, delay, and the reverb one block. Scene six is for the Hammond organ with a Leslie. I use a drive block, the rotary block, and the reverb two block. Scene seven is for lead synth. I use the delay block and the reverb two block. And finally, scene eight is for pads. I use the delay block, and the reverb 2 block. Now I'll go through the scenes using the corresponding instrument on the Nord. I'll play something using the Nord effects, then I'll record a loop with no Nord effects, and then I'll play the loop back using the FX3 effects. All right, back to the keyboards. Guys, this is another one of those kitchen sink presets that if I demonstrated all eight scenes, this video would be like a good half hour long and Neither one of us wants that. So I'll go ahead and I'll demo four of the scenes for you, and that'll give you a good taste of uh, what you can do with the keyboard rig and the Axe FX3. Now I do have to do some tap dancing here because my keyboards are located at one end of my studio room. The Axe FX3 is located at the other end of that room, and my desk is in between. So what I'll do is I will um, play a little passage on the Nord, using the Nord effects for each of the scenes. Then I'll turn the Nord effects off. I'll go over to my desk, start the looper, come back to the keyboards, record a loop, go back to my desk and trim that loop. And I will save you having to see all of that. So, all right, let's get going on that, guys. Now let's start out by checking out the Wurlitzer electric piano. On the Nord, I'll be using patch A42, which is called Whirly 2. So I'll play a simple passage with the Nord effects on. Then, like I say, I'll turn them off, record a loop, trim the loop, and then I will show you uh, what I can do with the scenes. <laughs> Okay, 
so scene three is called Wurlitzer EP. Besides the looper, you know, and the looper is in every scene, but I'm using the pan trem block, using the tremolo type in channel A. I'm using the parametric EQ with a boost to the high end, and I'm using channel A for that as well. And then in reverb, I'm using the sun plate type in channel B. Let's go back and hear the loop with no effects. Now let's go back to scene three and play the loop with the Axe FX3 effects on. Now let's check out the Rhodes electric piano. It's just as famous as that Wurlitzer, it just has a slightly different sound. Scene four is called Rhodes EP. I'm using the chorus block with the warm stereotype in channel A. I'm using the pan trem block with the panner type in channel B. Parametric EQ, a slight bump in the mid highs using channel B. In the delay block, I'm using the analog stereotype in channel A. And in the reverb block, I'm using the studio type in channel C. Now first let's hear that loop without any processing. Now let's hear that same loop using scene four. Okay, now let's check out the Honer clavinet, you know, made famous by Stevie Wonder and others. I'm using patch G22, which is called Amp D6. So it sounds like this. Scene five is called Clav Ottawa. I'm using the wah block with the Clyde type in channel A. I'm using the parametric EQ with some more high end boosted using channel C. In the delay block, I'm using the digital monotype in channel B. And in the reverb one block, I'm using the large spring type in channel D. Let's hear that clav loop with no effects. Now let's go to block five and hear that same loop with the FX3 effects. Okay guys, I'm going to wrap it up with some lead synthesizer. I'm using the patch uh, G25 called Pad and Lead, and it goes something like this.
Okay, scene seven is called lead synth. In the delay block, I'm using the digital stereo type in channel C. And in the reverb type, I'm using one of the new ones, Ursa Major, in channel C. So first, let's hear the loop with no effects. And now let's hear it with the FX3 effects using scene 7. So there you have it, guys. You know, not only is Axe FX3 great for guitars, it's fantastic for keyboards. I mean, you know, back in my old band, I used to play keyboards and rhythm guitar. God, I'd love to get together with those guys again and use the Axe FX3 instead of having to haul a Leslie and a couple amps. My back would love it, too. All right, guys, next Friday, we're going to take a look at scene modifiers. Now, you don't want to miss that, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, see you then.